Hey, Air Signs, Aquarius, uh, Libra, and Gemini. My name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't for other people, okay? It's okay if the whole thing doesn't resonate for you, okay? I already pulled some of the um, Oracle cards, okay? Because so I was doing my reading and I've got messed up. Anyway, transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges, okay? So there's a big change in your life and it's causing a lot of things to like, like, you know, a big massive change, right, hit your life. I don't know what it is, but I feel like between um, that happening, it might have been a little sad, but I feel like this also brought a lot of joy and delight into your life. All right, open your heart with joy. Uh, the five of wands, there might be some inner conflict right now that you have. There's something that you want to do, but then there's also something that you don't want to do at the same time. So, and it's wands. So I feel like it's something that you're passionate about, someone that you love, something that you love. You want to do something, but then again, you don't want to. So you're like fighting with yourself. You might be beating yourself up about this situation. The Nine of Pentacles, this is just telling me, you know, you're growing, you know, all your work that you're doing is like paying off full force. The Nine is also an ending, so there may be an ending here regarding something, um, uh, some type of situation, right? And this might be the five of wands of what you don't want it to happen. So you're fighting with yourself over this ending. If not, you might just be fighting with yourself. Maybe you're battling depression, anxiety, something like that, right? But the Nine of Pentacles is just telling me that you're growing, okay? The Chariot. And also it says all you need is you, okay? So if you're feeling like empty and you're feeling like maybe you're lonely or something and don't have anybody, it's like all you need is you to get by, okay? As long as you remember that, you're good. As long as you believe in that, you're good. The chariot, okay? So this is like forward movement towards success, all right? I don't know if you guys are moving, if you guys are switching jobs, if you guys are just moving on up in life, okay? But the chariot is telling me some type of forward movement so there is progress being made with whatever that you are doing here. The world, there's an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, changing things around and doing things better this time around, okay? The Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. I feel like there is some type of disappointment, heartbreak, um, really, really like feeling hurt and used, feel like you're, you, you can never win, all right? That's what I feel with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. I feel like you guys could just feel like you can never win, right? There's also maybe cheating involved, Three of Swords, Threes, okay? So it could be that there's an extra person involved in the relationship. If not, this can just say that you're kind of disappointed in some type of stuff. Maybe this big transformation was really hit you hard and it left you broken, you know what I mean? But just know that you still have to appreciate everything for what it is, even if it's things that you don't want it to be. It's like you have to appreciate everything that you get and just roll with the flow, okay? Because the universe gives us what we're supposed to have, whether it's, you know, things, even if it's things that we don't want because there's lessons in that. So if we skip that, we don't learn the lesson, you know, and then we don't grow. I feel like you're growing a lot, though. I feel like you are learning a lot. Actions and advice. The King of Swords. This is you coming into your reading. I think this is Aquarius. But this is just saying, you know, really think long and hard about whatever this is. Maybe you're planning on moving. Maybe you're planning on leaving something behind. The King of Swords is saying, really take some time to think. There's also a lot of butterflies behind, and this is another sign of transformation, all right? So there's a big transformation coming through for you guys. The Queen of Cups, you guys might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it might be saying that you guys are emotionally cut off from somebody. She's the only one in a cup suit with her cup closed. So to me, this just so tells me that she, like, closed herself off emotionally towards something or someone that has hurt her in the past, right? It's like maybe you're kind of like you're ready to cut them out of your life. You might be ready to cut this person out of your life, okay? You can switch the roles around if you want, if it fits you better. The Two of Swords, there is a decision that you want to make, but you don't want to make it because it's too emotional. Look at all the water in the background. It's very emotional for you. It's very emotional. And you don't want to take a look at it, but the universe is telling you maybe you just have to do what's best for you. Outcome, the Eight of Cups. Walking away emotionally, okay? This is like everything that you've built, you're going to be walking away from this. What else? Outcome. King of Pentacles, you'll be fine. King of Pentacles, you'll be fine. Your money is going to be good. you got the Ace of Cups. There might be a new love on the horizon or maybe just starting fresh in your love situation. But your money and your love is going to be fine. The Hangman, new inspirations, new ideas, seeing things in new perspectives. So maybe you're going to try to work this out. 
whatever this is, and maybe that's the big change that's going to happen, you know. So I just feel like, and this is also the same with the hey man, stop allowing other people to take advantage of you. The fool, something brand new is coming for you, a new journey, and the nine of cups and the five of cups in reverse. So maybe you're not going to be losing anybody, and this is going to make you a lot more less stressed, okay? So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.